Hello everyone! Today another finished object and this time it's a Christmas gift and this gift is for Sebastian, my lovely husband who does not watch this YouTube channel so no worries. What did I knit? I knit him a pair of socks. So I have two beauties over here and uh, what I can say about it I can say that I cast it on 64 stitches. I did a rowing over here two by two with 20 rows, I think. I used 20 rows. Then I was doing a stocking neck stitch, so plain vanilla and fish lips kiss heel. And I love this flat fish lips kiss heel because I'm reversing. I learned how to reverse and I'm quite confident with that, so I like it. And I think in this pair I'm not that bad with joining. No, but it depends. Sometimes I have something here, sometimes I don't, but what I do, I always cut yarn so I can use that tail to uh, fix my errors. So a tip for you, just in case, if you do a contrast color here. So I did that over here. I love it. It's like everything is okay, but something is wrong with the heel. <laughs> and Sebastian and I, we like orange, so he doesn't mind. I had a bunch of slot, uh, sock blockers, but the size is too big, so it looks. Eee. I haven't. I couldn't block them that way, so let's take it off. They look big, so I hope they're fit. It's 42 um, European size, so I think it's 10 UK. I'm guessing. I'm going with the 42. That's that, and I love it. I really like it. It looks like. Kind of nice, nothing popping in there because what yarn I use and what did I do? What did I do? So I went to Poland for a trip and obviously if I can go to yarn shop, I will. And in Krakow, in the gallery, you know, like a mall, let's call it that way, we went to yarn shop and I got this yarn. That's the only yarn I could find. Well, obviously it could be different colors, but I wasn't sure. Nako, Nako Boho. This is the yarn. And what else I can say about it? This is 75% wool and 25% polyamid. So that's that. Apparently I can wash it, probably gentle wash. And what they do, they give you examples, three examples on the side. So it's not the one that you have, it could be with the different colors. So I have the middle one. I guessed I have a middle one. So as you can probably notice, they're like, um, Let's call it gray and white areas with some kind of different pattern, stripe, color pattern. And I don't have it here because once I did this, it didn't go the way I wanted it to. It didn't look nice. So I chopped it off. I don't know, I don't know. I have some things about chopping off the yarn, you know? So I went with some standard things. I think Seb would like it more. And that's that. What I can tell you about though, I was so happy because I a bit spoiled myself over here in that shopping adventure and I could spoil one of you too. So I can't wait when you're going to start knitting your socks. So I can't wait to see, are you actually going to leave those bits or chop them off? Um, yay, can't wait. What I can tell you, I have that many leftovers. I try to have them matchy matchy. Can you see it? Is it matchy matchy? It's kind of is, isn't it? So before I did a matchy matchy thing, I had to chop off a bit. So what I do, I had to put it into one ball of yarn and I had to separate it to 250 grams. Then whatever I end I had, I checked the other end, do I have the same? And I had to kind of get to the spot I had in that yarn. So I normally go to the beginning of each color on those 250 grams. So this is what I had to, yay! So needles, needles, needles. I use higher, higher sharps. I use a method which is called magic loop and I do two at a time socks. So yeah, higher, higher sharps, which is, which is 2.25 millimeters, which is one US size, which is 100 centimeters cord wire, uh, which is ish 42 inches. And this is my knitting I love patch. Ooh, news, I have a different design for 2017. 
stay in tune. And all has to go in some sort of bag. And the bag I use for this project is my fave in regards kind of summery. I know it's not summer now. Uh, but summery adventure things just to feel that I'm just escaping going somewhere even if I can't. And the one I'm talking about is this one. I love it. It is Lone Large Design, so check it out, definitely. How cute it is! I know some of you have the same, the same pattern. Do you call it pattern? Texture? Pattern, 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 pattern. <laughs> I love it. And inside, light colour. I love everything bright because I can see what's on the bottom. And I took everything out, so nothing is there. But I can show you, I have over here a yarn hoarder podcast pin. Pin, pin, pin. So check that podcast if you haven't done it yet. Hi, Amber. And by the way, this uh, bag maker has also a podcast. Hi, Jenny. So check her podcast too. I leave all the links down below. So check it out. You will have those in the show notes or my social media links down there. Go to info box, which says show more, show more, just click show more. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is my little finish object. I'm so happy that you left me to share what I finished. So please do the same. Hashtag me knitting I love on Instagram. That way I won't uh, miss any of your posts. And I think that's all. Miss you all. Happy holidays, everyone. And till next one. Bye. A lovely pattern as you can see and it's such a quick knit such a quick knit I use basically two breaks at work so two two and a half hours maybe maybe I knit a bit at home I think I did